Welcome to another episode of Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. And uh, this episode I'm going to gonna show some of my uh, uh, MMA cards, martial art cards that I've collected over the years and some of that stuff. And So let's get started and see. These are some UFC uh, poker chips that, uh, that I have here. This right here is a, a set of boxing cards that uh, is from KO. And let's see here if I can. There's 250 cards in the set. I have all the cards except for one. Let's see if I can find the one that I am missing. There it is. One seventy-eight card number one seventy-eight is the one that I'm missing out of that series. It's a set of boxing cards from KO. Well, here we go. Let's. Kind of focus in up here a little bit. There's three cards that I had autographed. Frank Mir, uh, I saw him at the uh, UFC held in Indianapolis. Junior DeSantos and uh, Don Fry. I, I've, I've met Don Fry several times. Uh, he's a really fun guy to, to talk to, but I got those three cards autographed. I would have had a uh, Alan Belcher autograph card but uh, he ended up signing that with my wife's name on it so now she has it right, here's a set of uh, elite XC cards There's seven of them I have seven of them I have no idea how many is in the series or if it even was a series they uh, they came inside Elite XC DVDs and uh, I was able to to collect these seven I have no idea like I said how many was in that series but now this is a set of martial art cards they're not MMA they're martial art cards uh, by Otomix uh, so I'm trying to remember when I purchased these I sent off to the company to get them uh, Oof. early mid 90's is, is uh, when I got these three of these cards are autographed up here. Joe Lewis I met him in uh, North Carolina when I was in the army uh, talked with him and uh, I, I'm just going to come out and say I didn't like him. I thought he was rude, obnoxious. Uh, I, I just didn't care for him. I didn't didn't really like his attitude. But I was more than more than glad to get his autograph on the card. Uh, the second of the three cards that I have autographed is Bill Wallace, Superfoot. I met him in my hometown actually of Kokomo Indiana he was at a Pilum Kung Fu school doing a seminar and uh, I was able to to get him to autograph that card and the last of the three cards that I have autographed is Glenn Keeney I don't know if a lot of people may not know who he is but He's a real popular martial artist, and he only lives about 50 miles away uh, from from me. So my brother and I went to his dojo and got him to autograph the card for me. 
So you see if you can see it, there it is. It's autograph on the card. Anyway, there's that. Like I said, I think there's 50 cards in this set. But I have that complete set. Then this this set of cards, there's a hundred of them in this set. It's a MMA uh, set of cards. I'm not really sure if it's uh, it just says MMA. I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what series it is, but uh, anyway, I've I've got that whole series. There again, I'm not 100% sure what set it is, but there we go. All right. And then uh, this series of the UFC cards. The rest, yeah, the rest of these are all UFC cards from various years. I believe that this is 2010 set. Not a hundred percent positive, but I believe it's the 2010 set. And I am missing a few cards, but from that series, a bunch of other sets here. I'm going to jump over to this side here, and it's a, another set of uh, Topps UFC cards. I really have no idea what year. Not 100% sure. But uh, I just thought I'd kind of flip through these cards here real quick and kind of show a broad variation. I mean this year's, and like I said I don't recall which year, they had really thick cards. They looked, uh, so I'd put the card in front and then when I'd get the really thick version of it I'd stick it behind it. But and there again I've got most of them from that set from that set. Not all of them, but I do have a majority of them. Bloodline Octagon Honors. Uh, here's a few of them that have a piece of the the octagon. This little octagonal shape here is actually pieces of the octagon that uh, the UFCs were held in. And this here is supposed to be a piece of George St. Pierre's uh, pants his fight fighting shorts right here uh, here we turn back here now these two uh, Elliot Marshall and Josh Koscheck uh, I wasn't present when these were autographed so I'm not sure it says right here that it's a certified autograph. You know, I don't know if they actually signed them themselves or whether it's a print. So uh, the other autographs, I was present in there when they signed them, but I said these two, I wasn't. So I don't know if they're actual autographs or whether they're some kind of print. I would think that they were actual authentic autographs, but I'm not going to say for sure because I wasn't there. Back here, dig up underneath here. Got this little Elite XC sticker of Kimbo, and then uh, these two little UFC cards. 
As you can see, you can turn them and they change. Chuck Liddell. I got these inside uh, uh, DVD that I purchased. So they're pretty cool. But uh, right there is kind of a general look at uh, a large amount of cards that I have. And as soon as I purchase the cards, I immediately put them into sleeves and then put them into this big folder. So they stay secure. Not that it really matters. But uh, thanks for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting.